hello friends welcome to part 15 of our react native beginner tutorial so in this one i'll be showing you how to fetch data from an api using fetch api which is inbuilt inside of react or react native so in our previous video which is video 14 i showed you how to fetch data from an api using axios and i showed you how to get a single data from an api or getting multiple data so using the flat list to render data so be sure to subscribe if you haven't please like this video please share and subscribe all right so um i did imports of this from our previous video so that was the flat list and activity indicator and i did imports of use effects and use states and there was one for axios but i've taken it away and i've added some states here um so i have info and set user info let me add one more state i'll call it um const i'll call the error states and set error all right so um let's try using a try catch block and a finally okay so great so what would i want to do so i'll do const response because i wait fetch and i pass an api and now this time i want to it's the same thing just that with fetch using fetch api fetch uses the json format actually also uses the same thing just that we actually use it takes care of this so that you don't do the hassle right and now once you get this i can set um, info to whatever data we get and possibly to um okay so now let's add our loading state here so please if you haven't watched the video on using axios to watch i'll be linking it in the description down below and it's going to pop up here all right so great so once you are done we can catch any error so we can log any error to okay let's just use this from github copilot so it's just english okay so error then it shows you the error and let's clean this up a bit and now we can finally set loading to false all right so um let's just save this and let's see what we get in our terminal so we still get a bunch of data let me scroll to the bottom okay so we still get data okay so what can we do let me comment this out and let's try something here so we can do um no we can do if error then we can console log something right so you are seeing this error it should just display the error we can give this some styling of c style and let's do inline styling we can set color to red okay and here um we can do so we do if loading we want to render an activity indicator else we would want to render um okay so let me just pop in so i think the flat list this is because of the api okay um let me just modify this styling a bit I don't know what GitHub Copilot has to offer me this time. And let me clean this up a bit. And let's add some styling. So style concatenation. Okay. So let's pass this here. Okay. So this is using all um, from the API, which is getting all products from our API. Okay. So we're all fingers crossed. So let's see and see what we get. Okay, so you see the activity <laughs> activity indicator renders this map activity indicator thing so you're able to use fetch api to display the data so it's basically like axios right it's just that with fetch api you take care of the json format and you don't need to do any installation unlike for axios so thank you so much for watching this one in our next video we'll be looking at react native maps